Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And back by popular demand, it's the Vintage Collection Quick Shot series. Lots of cards to get through, and we are up to episode 73, which is, of course, VC 73, Aura Singh. You're Tobias Beckett. You killed Aura Singh. Pushed her. Pretty sure the fall killed her. That was a revelation in Solo, a Star Wars story. Yes, it's uh, Aura Singh. I do like this card back, and shortly I will be doing a best of the entire Phantom Menace line. So there are 17 cards for Phantom Menace, including this one. And I'm going to do my top five. But you know what? I really like this one because you don't see her like that in the movie. You see the back of her head. And in fact, when I first saw her in the movie, and here she is, I thought she was one of Jabba's dancers just watching. You know, she's that kind of species. I think she is, anyway. You know, um... Jabba Rocks or whatever from the <laughs> from um, Return of the Jedi Special Edition. So there you are. So yeah, Aura Singh. And the thing I like about Aura is that she's, uh, well, she's another classic example of females in Star Wars. That way before the latest push for female, female forces, female stuff from Kathleen Kennedy and all that. It's always been female the force, hasn't it? We've always had good female characters like this. But, um, yeah, she's really badass, isn't she? I like these sort of um, bounty hunters. And she's another crack shot with sniper rifle. Look at the size of that rifle. I would have put her on the figure, but it's a bit big. So, and it's also a little bit warped. So, you know, if you want some advice on how you can fix warped weapons and figures, get some boiling water, pour it over it, hold it as you wish to have it moulded. Hold it as you wish to have it moulded. That rhymes. Nice. I like that. Let it harden or cool, and then release, and it should set or hold in the position you've had it when it was, you know what I mean? Uh, when it was uh, molten, <laughs> molten, melted. All right, see if I hold it like that, it'll just go back to how it's been. So that's how you can re-manipulate plastic. Great figure, by the way. I have her loose, as you can see, and I've just got her po pose like that, and like I say, I've for for forgone the um, rifle for now, but. And I've also, she also comes with this, and I'll show you what it looks like in the packaging as well. I've kept that sort of mint. It's got, it comes with a little plastic cover case, so they don't come missing. But I presume she comes with, uh, she, she, she gathers or collects lightsabers, a bit like General Grievous, which is quite an interesting thing. So if you've got any information about that in a comic, do let that, do let me know below. Any more info is always welcome on this channel. I am a font of knowledge, I don't mind saying, I know lots about Star Wars, but I don't know everything. So if you've got some information on Aura, let me know. But look at this great figure, so I'm going to let it, let her spin now, and let you see her. And she came out in the, um, well, vintage collection, obviously, but she also came out, look at the, look at the detail of this, she's quite toned, isn't she? The Discover the Force pack, there were 12 figures in that, and she was a complete repack of this figure here. Which was great to think that you could get hold of. If you wanted to get her loose, you could get her in that, because I think that... Well, I actually opened up a vintage collection one, but I, I think that as um, figures go in value, the, she, she, she does rise. She's not one of the cheapest. But I had two of them, and I got one fairly cheap, so I opened it. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? So whenever you get... Um, Two opportunities to get a figure and have her loose. It's best not to open her if, or any figure if it's in vintage packaging. Like Grand Moff Tarkin, unfortunately he only exists in the vintage collection and he's never been packed like that anywhere else. And he's already astronomically expensive in that line. So uh, you, I don't. hence I don't have him loose. Same with all sorts of figures like Shea Vizsla. But anyway, so this can fluctuate in value on the vintage market. Secondary market, that is. Which is not necessarily ch the cheapest, but I have seen her for, you know, affordable prices. Those uh, long fingers there. And a nice, uh, nice buttocks there. Oh, Alan Partridge. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, sorry, sorry, this is getting a bit, bit, bit kinky, this uh, review. Sorry about that. Um, but, well, you know, she's, she's nicely crafted. And uh, I'll stop talking like Alan Partridge now and get on with the review. Uh, let's have a look at the card back again. <clears throat> Another shout out to Blacked Out Ewoks. He loves his card backs and this is what he likes to see. Nice and easy. Have a look at that lovely card there. Yes, I am handheld. 
So it might be a little bit jerky, but who cares? I just want to get nice and close to the car back for you. Under the lights. And I wonder if anyone has met this actress. I'm sure she would have done the tours. Done the rounds at conventions and stuff, I'm sure. You can meet anyone nowadays. You can meet any extra can get onto a circuit, I'm sure. Just get into Star Wars, you can do the circuit for life. Convention circuit, I mean. Let's have a look on the back. And this shows that she is the first time on a vintage car back. Phantom Menace 1999. It's not the first time the figure's been released, I think. I don't think so. No. no. I can't remember. She's been out in Clone Wars as well. And here's the back of the card. Um, we've done all of these except for him, the Gungan Warrior. He's coming up. I think he might be next, actually. We are about to be hit and met with a load of uh, Phantom Menace card packs, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know. But I, I love it. I love this line of cards. As I've explained before, oh, as I've explained before, it's the first time I ever saw the vintage collection existing. I walked into a Forbidden Planet and I saw not just Phantom Menace. There was plenty of them because it was around this era that I walked into a Forbidden Planet, the Phantom Menace era of the 2012, you know, end of 2011, and. Um, I saw them and I thought, my God, that's such familiar packaging. And then I saw the B-Wing pilot and I thought, I see what they're doing. They're re-releasing classic Kenner product. So here is the card again. I'm going to handheld it, hand hold this. I, I do listen to comments. Someone said that I should do this all the time. Bosk's Bounty does that. Another plug for you there, Tim. Mention your channel. And there's, look, look, look at that. Unpunched. They need to bring that back, don't they, Tim? Unpunched cards. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Do you know what I could do with getting a steady cam? Because I... Oh, there it goes! There it goes again! Oh my god! Well, it wouldn't be an only one Kenobi video without that happening. Someone put in the comments, they said, Come on, you need to invest in a proper microphone. Not microphone stand, camera stand. And he's absolutely right, that person. You were absolutely right. Do you want to see how I hold the camera in place? That. That is low budget, ladies and gentlemen. That is no budget. They said I need to get a proper tripod. Well, I've got a proper tripod. That is a proper tripod. But that ain't no proper camera holder. That is what I use. That's why sometimes it falls and hits the ground. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now because it's going on and on. And I need to get on to watch uh, a very big football game that's about to happen any moment now. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, uh, do hit the like button. Don't be too frightened, I don't use... <laughs> My videos aren't usually this crazy. Uh, I, I don't often talk like Alan Partridge either. Uh, that's, that, that, that's a bit uh, unorthodox. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, I know that I've got a lot of info, including the Bosk's Bounty. He loves it. He loves Alan Partridge. He loves David Brent. Huh? Oh, The Office. Yeah? Oh. And also, uh, yeah, I, I, I love Tim from Bosk's Bounty. We've got a lot of things in common when it comes to uh, British comedy. Yeah, it's lovely. Ah, uh, thank you very much for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One.